Hey, hello guys, this is Dr. Bass, and tonight I have a very nice project to share with you guys. And I think you will, be, uh, you will find that very interesting since it's about the zero battery. So, um, maybe uh, you've heard about that because I uh, talk a little bit on the uh, uh, Facebook pages. Uh, that I'm converting this uh, ATV for kid, as you can see here. This is a small ATV with a normally a, uh, a lead acid battery, 36 volt, and a 800 watt motor. This is a brushed motor. I don't like that. Not a lot of torque. 2.8 newton meters of torque. So my plan is to upgrade it for my nephew. And I will add a 3000 watt controller, uh, 150 amp phase, and a uh, 3 kilowatt motor, a brushless motor here and change the gearing ratio too. So a lot of pleasure coming, but to do that, I will have also to add a nice battery here. And for that, I had a solution. You know, I've uh, got uh, a few uh, zero battery, just like those uh, monolith here. And you know, in these, there's four bricks. Uh, well, at least in the 2016 and uh, lower model, there's one, two, three, four bricks inside. And those bricks are the same voltage as the entire monolith. So it's 28 cells in series and one of these brick look like just like that so this is one that i've disassembled freshly so you see the uh, uh connector contactor right here the big fuse and the bms so the plan is to save this battery because that's an old battery 2014 already seven years and i've measured it uh maybe you can see uh, with this big electronic load here. So it's only 1.8 kilowatt hour out of the uh, 2.3 rated, uh, not 2.5, but uh, about 2.3 kilowatt hour. And I only got 187, uh, 118, uh, 180 and 75 amp hour. So uh, yeah, that's a problem because it's at like at the end of life. But for ATV just like that, it will be perfect. The only problem is that problem is that it's 28S, so it's 102 volt. I don't want to put that little voltage on this ATV for my nephew. So I will split the voltage of this in two half. What I mean is that it's 28 cells, the pouch here, they are in sandwich between this thick aluminum plate and this other thick aluminum plate. About, uh, I think it's 316 thick. And there's 28 like that. My plan is to separate the first half of 14 cell and the second half of 14 cell in two independent uh, halves. And then I will parallel them to get 14S or 51.8 volt. And no worry guys, I've already, uh, I'm a professional, <laughs> uh, no, no joke, I've already done that uh, for my NYX uh, electric bike. Uh, I wanted to save one of those batteries, but the fact was that it was too big to enter into the frame. I had to split to uh, fit perfectly. So as you can see, this is a picture, one of the only picture you will see of a splitted zero battery um in the brick uh format so this is a 14s so this is 14 cells here and eight cells here so that is a 28 uh, 22s for about 90 volt or something like that and that was the maximum width i had inside the frame so that's why i had to split it what i made is that i added this uh thick aluminum plate the same exact thickness as the stock one that are normally here and here I added this one I separated the cells I just slide uh, slices uh, sli slice sliced yeah sliced uh, through uh, those two cells with the kind of adhesive that had a double side adhesive between the cells you see those pouches look like exactly this this is a one two three cells not the same brand but very similar size okay so and now, you know, those nice batteries are very well designed. And the way they are connected together is with these, what is called thermifoil. Thermifoil is a kind of a crimp connection that you will take the two electrodes of two adjacent cells 
and you will crimp these together with this kind of very nice uh, crimping uh, part. It, it's not a log, it's not. It's it's just a kind of a vise uh, that you crimp and all those very nice holes here are all single point contact that will make a contact between the two cells and this will sandwich these together just like that and I know you like the sound okay so I don't want to make you to wait uh, anymore I will show you the big surprise hey hey that's the inside of the battery I've just removed the cover here there's a couple of screw here just like that you need a torx key and a lot of passions and here it is you see those thermifoil here the same kind of this one thanks for the very well designed battery and all the team at zero uh, a few of us uh, know these guys uh, congratulations this is a very nice design so you see this is a gel and you don't see it because of the uh, same uh, index of refraction because the kind of a gel and the plastic separator are transparent and you don't see them even if I go very close you don't see them it's like you could touch these together haha <laughs> but no there's actually a separator and then a gel on top I think that if I can find it there's this one here I think it's kind of a valve that you remove you put the kind of a gel inside the battery and then you put it back and you can kind of bleed off it and remove the air from another valve somewhere else anyway so uh, not a lot of bubbles maybe just these you remember this is a 2014 battery here so what I will do is that I found the exact connection of the split cells here so if I remove the thermifoil here and I separate the cells from this first half to this first half those will be independent so I will then parallel the positive of this first half with the positive that is exactly here which is the positive of the second half and then I will parallel the negative of the uh, second half to the negative of the first half here and then I will parallel the uh, uh, BMS wires, the balance wires here, those are all these single wires here that uh, can uh, bleed some current through the cells to uh, uh, equalize them with the uh, lowest and or highest cells and uh, they are monitoring as well and there's a few uh, temp sensors inside normally they are black wires I think it's one of these here with a terminal that uh, measure the temperature exactly at the terminal of the cell I'm not sure maybe uh, that's just a negative but I know that a few of these black wires are temp sensors maybe those two here so anyway I hope you appreciate it and uh, thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe and click the like button so I appreciate and uh, well I will make a other video about the project and uh, take care thanks for watching bye bye